Hello, today I will recommend how to export data from CSV file for filling in page and learn the types of forms on the page. I believe many people use this tool already and there are many people don't understand how to use. Talk about the basics of using iMacro. Normally, when fill out the form, we will press the record button, then we will type some text into form on the page. iMacro will record our work. Then we will let it iMacro's code saved for our work. Then you see, the form fills the page on a different style. Some forms are qualified for text input. Some forms are qualified for numbers. And some forms have features for filling out lots of text. Of course iMacros can save our workflow, but it is not perfect. We need to modify iMacros code to work as we want. Okay, I will show example get data from CSV file to fill form on the page. Now I created file.eem already. File name is loadata to form fill.eem. In loadata to form fill.eem I've written some code. Line 2 is code told Sierra don't stop working and skip to next step. Line 3 is code for wait for element on page loading, default is 20 second but I edit to 5 second or up to you want many second. Because on web page may be update design in the future. If my iMacros can be working but some line is gone, code in line 3 will be work for this case. If you don't edit time second, iMacros will be wait about 20 second I think is so long for this step. Line 5 to 8. This is code iMacros for load data from CSV file. Line 5 This line we will use command set data sources for focus target file and file name. Line 6 This code will define number start loop of iMacro and this number loop we will use for focus load data line number from loop. So line 7 load data from line which relate variable loop. This group code I create for load path or target file of iMacros and own computer. Follow me you think to time for use code iMacro and own computer this project will be work. But to time for move project to another computer you must edit path for load data file every time and all file. Okay first time I'm sure you out can do that. But two time you must to think this step take time to must so that is point for create code line 5 to 8. Path file iMacro. You can get text as path from plugin iMacros. Back to browser Firefox, go to plugin iMacros and click manage tab and click settings. Browser will be show pop-up setting of iMacro. On pop-up go to paths tab, you will see text box, look like box input text on website. And all box you must see three box, you can choose one of all. After that inner boxes you choose. Will be show path file as we want, you must start drag mouse cover from first text to text name i macros in that box, after that press keyboard center plus C and paste to CSV file. This step, in line 8, I create variable name var1 for get data from CSV is loaded. To time for use path file, we can be used by variable var1. Next from var1 we will use path file as correct product data or path file of CSV. In video, CSV file and talk about name is shop2.csv. So, I will open shop2.csv by LibreOffice. In shop2.csv is correct all data products. We will get all data to fill form on website by iMacros. Next step, I will start record iMacro. On time in record, I will be click name of fill before click input for test insert text to fill form. Because, time to edit I will see name of form and import data from shop2.csv incorrectly. If you don't click name of form some project we record too many fill form may be confusing in edit time.
After press stop button, go to hash current.em file and right click to edit. You will see I macro code is recorded. I will copy from line 4 to line 12 and close this file. After that I will open file I macro is prepared and paste last copy. After that we will insert data from shop2.csv to target line is matching. See example in video. COL1 is typing same to column 1 in Excel or LibreOffice and using. So, would you want to import data from a column? You can type call followed by column number. Information displayed it will be pulled as we want. Okay, now we will test coded. Click file.em and press button play. You can see data added to form fill on web page. Okay, now we back to file.em last running and open it. Next problem, look in code POS position. You will see some numbers greater than 1. So, now my iMacro code is work. But in the future web page is changed design, this position in talkabouts will be changed too. Causes an error time to run code I macros. So, we will use ATTR for define fill point more clearly. What we have to do is, we must know a line of code with POS more than one is a position on the page. After that, back to web page and right click and position you want click to inspect element menu. You can see section HTML structure show up and there will be a blue bar displayed. This blue bar is the part you clicked on a moment. Next step, you must searching for attribute in that tag HTML is current. Tip. Try to searching attribute value as you can literacy or meaning or understand. Not a numerical deposit are the value of some code. Because these values may change When you change ATTR, change the number POS to number 1. Do the same with other row code. When done, test to run the code again.